<laughs> you know, I always get that, um, that the northern states pay more than the southern states do, you know, as far as jobs-wise. Um, and my rebuttal to that is, yeah, I mean, I would think so. The cost of living is more in, in a, a state like New York. Um, food costs more, money costs uh, money. Food costs more, clothes co cost more. So of course, they're gonna pay more because it costs more to live in New York. And of course, in the South, they're gonna pay less because it, the cost of living, living it, it, it doesn't cost as much as it does in New York as far as buying clothes, uh, um, food, um, apartments, homes, etc., cars. So, in other words, what I'm saying is, it all levels out. And this is what it boils down to. It's just plain and simple. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm going to kick it real quick and I'm going to get off this video. The thing of it is, is that at the end of the day, the Northerners want to make excuses of or reasons why they want to live in New York or places like New York. And that's fine. I mean, y'all can stay where y'all are at. Nobody is begging you all to come down south. But stop it with the excuse or reason, you know, that I stay in New York because I get paid more at my job. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I just looked up. I just told y'all the other day. I looked up an apartment in the Bronx. One bedroom. One bedroom apartment, $1,600, $1,600. And I'm more than sure that that person won't be able to control his or her heat. I pay $1,450 to live in this three bedroom, two and a half bath garage, front and backyard, $1,450. What you have to do is you have to realize should I choose quantity over quality? I know good and goddamn well my quality of life, of living, is way more better than that person that's paying $1,600 a month for a one bedroom apartment. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that that female or male that's renting out that apartment has to go downstairs or take an elevator downstairs go out work let's let's say it's, it's february it's brick cold outside while here in the south it gets cold it does snow i'm not gonna lie but there are times where it could be january february december and we'll have 70 degree weather just this past um winter it didn't even snow it snowed for like three hours and it was, it was melted by the end of the day. It melted, the snow melted by the end of the day. So that's what you have to choose. Quantity over quality. I'd rather choose quality over quantity. You see, this is the problem with you all. You all love making money. That's what you do for a living. Listen to what I'm, what I'm saying. This is what you do for a living. And some people may say, Langston, you sound stupid. We all make money for a living. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You're living to make money. That's all you're doing. When are you ever going to reap the benefits towards the money that you make? Period. You just want to you just want to be like the guys, the people that live in Atlanta. Knowing good and well that Atlanta, if you don't have any money, it is a horrible place. Even if you do have money, it's a horrible place. Why? Because you got to deal with homelessness. People, black people, might, well, majority of blacks are down there. It's not, we're not minorities in Atlanta. Black people begging 
everywhere walking up to you at Walmart. Yo, man, you know, can I get a couple of dollars? Me and my kids and I, they, they don't have nothing to eat. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with racism. You got to deal with all sorts of stuff. So I, I truly believe, not all, but there are some people that are, in, that are living in Atlanta, live in Atlanta just to say that they live in Atlanta. That's it. That's, that's the type of person you want to be. You want to be the type of person to say, I'm from New York. Yeah, but I, I know you, homie. See, you could pop that, that mess with, you know, with somebody else. I know you. I know you. I used to live in New York. I know every characteristic of you. And you can't, you could come down here and pop that joint like, oh yeah, you know, the chicks are looking at you. You know, your family is looking at you. Oh man, yo man, my, 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 my brother, man, he doing good, man. He from New York, man, you know. My brother Scott, man, look, he got a Mercedes Benz, look at his clothes, he fly, he this and that, he dripping. You could pop that with them. But I want to know what's your address in New York. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be the projects. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a high-rise building co-op joint. You not parking at Mercedes Benz. In a park, in a, a, a garage, like I do, you parking that shit on the side of the road and you gotta move it. Woo! 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 I'm about to drop some bombs. Well, you gotta move it every morning or every night to the other side of the road. So don't pop it with me. Don't pop that mess with me, yo. And most times you don't even drive the car. You, you, you got a Metro card. You catch the, the train to get to work. Get out of here with that. Come on, man. That's the reason why I, I tell New Yorkers, yo, get out of New York and live your life. And for those that are out there, that I hear it, I hear it in the, I see it in, read it in the comment section. Y'all talking about y'all don't want no New Yorkers coming to Charlotte or y'all don't want no New Yorkers coming to Raleigh or Durham or whatever. Why are you so selfish? You have a good life down here. You know how good it is. You don't want them to be happy. That's being selfish. They're not going to ruin things for you all. They're not. I just don't get it. And then there's another dude that made a comment that said, yo, y'all are starting to sound like white people. I'm, not, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm being real. Y'all are, start, are starting to sound like white people. Oh, you're not worried about over them, um, them overpopulating Charlotte or overpopulating. Let me tell you something. Charlotte is going to be overpopulated regardless of how, however many I get, however many New Yorkers I get to come down here. They have been planning on this, as far as the, the, uh, the infrastructure of Charlotte, like building. They've been planning all of this stuff since the, the late 1960s. They knew that there was going to be an influx of people coming to this city. So regardless of whether I tell them to come, no, regardless of how many people I tell to come down or convince them to come down, they're going to come anyway. It doesn't make a difference. Charlotte will eventually be like Atlanta. I'm sorry. I'm not saying for culture-wise, I mean negative culture-wise, because there's a lot of culture in, in Atlanta, great culture. I'm not saying negative culture-wise, but it's gonna be it's gonna be somewhat like Atlanta. I'm, I'm, I, hey, it is what it is. I can tell you the first the, the first time I moved to Charlotte, Charlotte was 2009. There were a few homeless people um, at the Uptown Library Branch. You know, they would go in there, wash up. I would see a few homeless people, like a little bit, you know, in uptown, sleeping on benches and stuff. Fast forward to 2020, you got Tent City around Graham Street. Uh, what's that other street? Uh, the, the beginning of North Davidson, all in that area and uptown. Tents everywhere. So when you get it, when, when people start to flock here, they bring violence. They bring. They bring positivity. They bring whatever they had where they were living at. They bring their problems. 
And listen to this, because I, you know what I realized? That there are some homeless people that are not homeless like that. What I mean by that, like, say for example, you know, um, all of a sudden I'm not able to make any money. I lose this house. I lose the car. My children, they get chipped off somewhere and I become homeless, right? That's the typical story of people like that are homeless. But then there's another side where, believe it or not, it's the truth. There are homeless people like that live in Maryland. And they say they heard that Charlotte was a better place and it may be a better opportunity, but they're homeless. Somehow, some way, they managed to make it here. And they were like, oh man, you know, pff, I can't make it here. Let me get a tent. I, I could go back to that. I could go back to survival mode. So this is a growing city. It's going to bring city, excuse me, Charlotte is going to have all the ills, all the negative and the positive of a, of a metropolitan area. It's that plain and simple. I can't stop anyone from coming here and neither can you. You can't. There's no borders around Charlotte. And me, if, let's say for example, if New York had trees and all the rest of that stuff, you know, grass and <laughs> They didn't have gates around, <laughs> fences around their trees like in Brooklyn. Let's just say Charlotte was New York and New York was Charlotte. I would be telling people to come to New York. I just don't understand why people don't want a better life for others. As well as I don't understand why people don't want a better life life for themselves let me tell you something new york is straight up let's let's i'm just gonna be real with you um i'm not gonna lose any sleep if y'all don't come down here I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not if anything i'm gonna snore even louder you know how you pull one out for the homies well i'm gonna snore louder i'm gonna I, and that's dedicated to you all i'm gonna sleep real real good at night knowing that i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna see the sun i'm gonna see trees and everything is just nice you know, when I get up, I pull the blinds up, up I, I, I pull the, the, the uh, blinds at the sliding door. I got a sliding door right there back. And, you know, the sun comes in here, you know, the children come run down and eat and all of that. It's, it's a nice sight to see. And then, you know, as it gets towards autumn, you know, the, the, the weather, you don't have to have the air condition on and you don't have to have the heat on. So, you know, you just pull a sliding door back push this uh, uh, the screen door up so you won't get no bugs or anything that come in the house and you get a nice cool breeze coming in man come on man it ain't nothing like it yo I'm just telling you I'm just being real it's nothing like it and you know I ain't trying to like listen let me tell you something I ain't trying to be like all you know nasty nasty or whatever you know but you know I'll be sleeping butt naked so man and and, and there's a science to that Look it up if you don't believe me. There's a science to that. There, there's, there are benefits towards sleeping butt naked. So I got the sheet over me. The wind is, I'm in bed. The wind is coming in. Oh man, I'm knocked out. I'm knocked out. I don't hear no noise. I don't hear no screaming. I don't hear ambulances. I don't hear gunshots. All I hear is, all I hear is crickets. I'm just trying to understand how in the world you don't want that. I mean, true indeed, you got to give up some things if you want to come down here. But I can, t I can guarantee. <laughs> I know what it is. We got some New York pizza parlors down here. I can put you on. Benny's is, 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 is damn near close. Carmelo's is damn near close. Now, now can... I know I convinced y'all now. <laughs> and we got Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> Yo, B, give me the chicken and chips. Yo, fry the wings hard. Pause. And now I can now now, now have I convinced you all. <laughs> oh man, yo, I got it gotta be some humor to it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all jokes, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, you know, listen, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's Charlotte, if it ain't Charlotte, if it ain't Raleigh, if it ain't Durham, if it ain't Jacksonville, if it's not Atlanta, if it's not Orlando, if it's not Miami, or wherever, man. Wherever there's trees and grass. Because I know <laughs> that's kind of like a commodity dump stuff. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like you got to buy patches of grass and put it in your apartment. Like, oh, yeah, grass. I mean, seriously, man, come on. Straight up. And I know what y'all gonna say. Yo, we got Prospect Park. We got Cent P Central Park. And Kill it, man. Kill it. 75% 75, 75 of the city is damn near concrete. <laughs> ah, man, listen. I'm telling you, man. Y'all y'all got y'all got a peep game. Y'all go out there and I get grounded. Look that up. I go out there barefooted. And, and, and well... I ain't gonna lie, I gotta fix the, the I ain't fixing that because I ain't gonna be here. I'm gonna be here for another year, but I ain't fixing that, man. You know, the the the, the HOA, you know, they the police. They go around looking for things that to 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 get you know find you for. So they like, yo, you need to, you know, get the uh put put uh grass seeds on the patches that's that's you know and on you know that's that don't have grass there. I'm like, man, I'm not paying for that. That's what the landlord's supposed to pay for. I ain't paying for that. But anyway, I go out there barefooted and I get grounded. Look it up. Grounded. I'm telling you, man, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like living in the South, man. I'm a grown man. And I want better for myself and for my children. Like I said before, and I continue to say it, I may not be, I may not live here for the rest of my life. But I can say that for now, I'm content. And um, when I leave, I, it won't be a bitter taste in my mouth. It won't. I could, I could honestly say that but aside from this pandemic and hopefully nothing else will, will come up. But other than that, I can say that, yo, I, I had a decent time living in Charlotte when I leave. Y'all make the choice. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video.